Well guys, we did it. We reached a quarter of two sub subits. I can't believe it guys. We're actually almost at two sub subits guys. Wow, it pure the very obnoxious music guys. Wow, isn't this amazing? Wow, so cool and stuff. Wow, please can't believe it. Can't please fucking god kill Well wasn't that funny. Anyways, we reached over 300 subscribers. Wow. And after months and like two whole scripts, I finally decided what the perfect 300 subscriber special would be for all of the, my very loyal fans. It's going to be a documentary about a frying pan in a video game. Are you guys like so happy that you subscribe? It all started in the year of 2009, with a game by the name of Left 4 Dead. In the game, you play as one of the four survivors, with three other players. In the game, you need to get from point A to point B. Sounds easy enough, right? Wrong. Because along the way, you have to fight against zombies. And that's the most simple way I could explain the game. However, not even a year later, Valve announced Left 4 Dead 2. Which came to mixed opinions. Some people were excited for the game, but some weren't, which led to the creation of a boycott group, which is still active to this day, by the way. Anyways, to promote the new Left 4 Dead game, Valve added a new cosmetic to Team Fortress 2, which was just Bill's hat. And so the cosmetic was added into the game in the November 2nd, 2009 patch, along with a bug fix for King of the Hill Harvest event. On November 16, 2009, Left 4 Dead 2 was released on Steam, and in the game, you could find the frying pan and use it as a weapon. On October 6, 2010, a very special patch was added to Team Fortress 2. October 6, 2010, a blog post was made on the Team Fortress website. The blog post said, Hello for Team Fortress people, now that I've got your attention, the name's Light Taker, from Left 4 Dead 2. Nice little setup y'all got here. Now, I'm told y'all are hired killers. Also, I wanna make it clear this is all I've been told. All Light Taker don't pass judgement, so don't take sides. Red or blue, your money's all green here. Now, to business. I have once again been asked to try and clarify the essence of some sales fair failure. While my words alone should have been enough to sway to purchase one of these fine games, the good people at Valve have decided to throw in a little something extra for those of you who currently own or have purchased the game Left 4 Dead 2 by this Thursday at 4pm Pacific Standard Time. This is what those to the east of me acknowledge my call on Lanya. There's a lot more text on this blog post, but what I've just read to you should probably be enough to explain to you what it's about. It's an advertisement for Left 4 Dead 2. If you want the whole blog post and read what else it says on there, it will be linked in the description down below. The blog post also came along with this image. And so over the next 24 hours, if you were to buy Left 4 Dead 2 or have already owned Left 4 Dead 2, you would get a free weapon and a cosmetic for Team Fortress 2. The cosmetic was Elsa's cap, and the weapon was the frying pan. 24 hours later was when the event was supposed to end, but for some reason Valve decided to keep going with it. They still haven't ended it to this day, even though it's now been going on for 12 years. <laughs> 
After some time, a thread on the Steam user forums was made. The thread was called the new phase of Team Fortress 2. In the thread, an image of a demo man could be found. The image showed the demo man wearing the bounty hat and the Gangoresque 2. Well equipped with a frying pan and a charging torch, with the username Stotcheco for two refined. On December 31st, 2010, a video was uploaded. The video was called Meet the Demo Pan. It was an edited version of Meet the Demo Man. At the time, the Demo Pan was a really popular meme within the Team Fortress community. Some people thought that Demo Pan was obnoxious and that it didn't fit with the style of Team Fortress 2. On April Fool's 2011, a page on the official Team Fortress 2 wiki was made for a demo pad, which was made by a fellow YouTuber, Benjamin, who is still active to this day, but he doesn't make TF2 content. Oh, wait a minute, his Steam profile isn't private. Hell yeah, let's check it out. Aw, oh, what the f- Valve added a new game mode to Team Fortress 2. The game mode was called Man vs Machine. Hey guys, Timix here. I am currently stuck in the Golden Source engine. Anyways, I'd like to point out that actually, originally the game mode was called Co-op Mode. So yes, I got that wrong. Anyways, back to whatever the hell this dumbass was saying. And to this day, it's one of the most popular game modes in Team Fortress 2. Right next to Payload, Capture the Flag, and maybe even King of the Hill. Man vs Machine could be played in two ways. Bootcamp, which is just normal MVM, but you can play just for fun. And Man Up, which is MVM, but harder, and also you need to play. But if you play the Squad Slurpers Voucher, I definitely pronounced that wrong, you can get loot at the end of the game, on November 21st, 2013, they have added a new campaign to man up. It was called Two Cities. And along with that, some new loot was added, one of which included the Golden Frying Pan. Which was just like the Golden Wrench, but it was all class and it was the frying pan, so it's a thousand times better. Oh yeah, also the Golden Pan is worth like 5 trillion dollars. Begins my dominating! <laughs> demo hunt, demo hunt, dem blood hunt, now demo demo dem blood hunt! In 2019, a YouTuber by the name of D-Will took a bunch of his fans and put them against each other in a fight. The fight was between Devil Fans and Heavy the Ham. The Ham Heavies end up winning. And that's it. That's that's all there is to it. I only included this part so I wouldn't get yelled at in the comments. Please be happy, please don't unsubscribe, please don't dislike my video. No! And for now, this is where the story of the frying pan ends. But wait, I hear you say, what about Benjamus and Stotch Shiko for to refine? What happened to them? That's a good question. Well, Benjamus went on to become a voice actor. While I couldn't find any of his work, and by that mean I didn't really search for it, I did find one of them that some of you die-hard TF2 fans might know. If I survive, you all get a five cent raise! Sound good? Good! That's right, he went on to actually voice act for Team Fortress 2 Classic. And as for Stotch Shako for 2 Refined, well, 
We don't know what happened to him. He simply just disappeared. I tried asking if I tried asking the TF2 community if they knew anything, but as I expected, they're just as clueless as I am. The only image that we have of him it could be as old as 2010, and judging by how the community back then and Dolphin nowadays is mostly teenagers, I'm pretty sure that the guy could be in his mid-twenties at this point. Wherever he is, he'll be remembered by the TF2 community for starting an amazing beam. Godspeed. Shake it up, put it in, cut it up, and 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 put it in,